So uh, question one reads, a polynomial P is defined on the set R of real numbers by P of X equals 4X cubed plus 4X squared minus 11X minus 6. Given that 2X minus 3 is a factor of P of X, A, factorize P of X completely, B, solve the inequality P of X is less than 0. Sub 2, the roots of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x plus 1 equals 0 are alpha and beta. Find the value of the expression 2 alpha plus 1 over beta plus 2 beta plus 1 over alpha. Let's tackle this question. Please don't forget to subscribe and to click on the notifications bell so that once we release a new video, you will be automatically informed or notified your subscriptions go a long way to motivate us to create more content the more subscribers we have we assure you the more content we will create subscription is free please just take five seconds and subscribe now as you continue watching thank you So according to this question, we have been told that uh, 2x uh, minus 3 is a factor. Therefore, we can use long division to get the other factors. Okay, so here we are going to say the polynomial p of x, uh, that is 4x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 6 divided by uh, 2x minus 3. So the first term in this expression is 4x cubed. So 4x cubed divided by 2x, we can start with the coefficients. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and x cubed divided by x is x squared. Now we have this 2x squared times all of this divisor. So 2x squared times 2x, that's going to give us uh, 4x cubed. And 2x squared times negative 3, uh, that's going to give us negative 6x squared. We subtract. So 4x cubed minus 4x cubed is 0. And 4x cubed minus minus 6x squared. 4x squared minus minus 6x squared is 10x squared. So there's a negative sign here. We are subtracting. For the terms you have not used, we can bring them down. So we have minus 11x minus 6. Now, uh, for this first term uh, expression, okay, for this first term, this expression 10x squared, it is still greater than the most significant term here. Or you see the degree here is still higher than the degree here. So we're going to say 10x squared divided by 2x, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and x squared divided by x is x. So now we're going to say plus 5x times plus 2x, that's going to give us 10x squared. And 5x times minus or negative 3 is equal to negative 15x. We subtract again. 10x squared minus 10x squared is 0. And negative 11x minus minus 15x is going to give us plus 4x. We have not used this negative 6, so we can bring it down. Now, the degree of what is left here of this remainder and that of the divisor are the same, so we can still divide. So 4x divided by 2x is going to give us plus 2. Plus 2 times 2x is uh, 4x, and plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So when we subtract now, the remainder is 0. Of course, we already knew that the remainder was going to be 0 because we told 2x minus 3 was a factor. Therefore, our p of x can now be this quotient, the product of this quotient and this divisor, that is 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 times this divisor 2x minus 3. But we cannot end here because they said we should factorize completely. We still have a quadratic factor here which is factorizable. So we are going to factorize this quadratic factor so that we end up with a linear factors. So our 2x squared here 
can be simplified as follows. So 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 can be written as for 2, uh, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. Our AC here is 4. The pairs of factors of 4 that when we multiply we will have 4 and when we add we will have 5 are 1 and 4. So we are going to break down this expression into a 2x squared. We break down the immediate term, sorry, into 1x plus 4x. So plus 4x plus 1x and then we continue with plus 2 here. We group them or we pair them now. Highest common factor for this first pair is 2x. So we're going to have 2x into 2x uh, into x plus 2. And for the second uh, group, there's no highest common factor. So the highest common factor is 1. So we just say plus 1 into x plus 2. What we have now for these two brackets are the same. We just copy in one bracket, x plus 2. And what is left outside, we copy in another bracket, 2x plus 1. So we can now simply replace this 2x squared here plus 5x plus 2 by x plus 2 into 2x plus 1. Okay, so we have 2x minus 3 into x plus 2 into a 2x plus 1. At this point, we have factorized completely. The only exception would have been that we could not express this quadratic factor as linear factors. Now, the next part says we should solve the inequality p of x is less than, less than 0. At this point, we have already factorized our p of x completely and have a, a product of three linear factors. We can just get the boundary solutions and we make a table. For the boundary solutions here, for the first factor, uh, the boundary will be 2x minus 3 equals 0. And when we solve for x, there we'll have x equals 1.5. Or 3 on 2. For 2x, uh, for x plus 2, the boundary solution is negative 2. And for 2x plus 1, the boundary solution will be uh, negative a half. So we can form a table with all of that. The boundary solutions we have negative 2, negative a half, and uh, 1.5. So since an inequality, the solution might be in the range x is less than negative 2, the smallest value, or it lies between negative 2 and negative a half. Or it is between negative a half and negative and plus 1.5, sorry, or it is greater than 1.5. So we can make this table or can use a number line to test, okay? So for this first one, for the first table, let's uh, write down these different factors. You know, our p of x can be broken down into these three uh, linear factors, right? We have 2x minus 3 for the first place, x plus 2 for the second, and 2x plus 1 for the third. Now we take any number less than negative 2 for this first set and then we test to get the sign we're interested in the signs here so any number less than negative 2 we can take a negative 3 if we fit here 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 3 negative 9 so this first value will be negative uh, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 is negative 2 times negative 3 negative 6 plus 1 uh, negative 5 is negative and how do we get our f of x here we multiply all of this so f of x here will be equal to negative times negative times negative which is negative now for the next one the next uh, range we have negative two and negative a half so here we can just take a value of negative one and fit and test to get the signs so two times negative one is negative two minus three is negative five negative uh, negative one plus two is positive uh, two times negative one is negative two plus one is negative our f of x will be negative times positive which is negative times negative positive so f of x to this range should be positive. Now, for the interval from negative a half to 1.5, you can just take 0, okay? So 0 minus 3, negative 3 is negative. 0 plus 2 is positive. 0 plus 1 is positive. Our f of x here will be negative times positive times positive, which is negative. And for the last one, when we take a value greater than 1.5, everything will just be positive, and that's what we will have. So now to solve the inequality, p of x is actually less than 0, we are going to take the values with the negative signs, okay? So here, we are going to have x uh, less than, for p of x less than 0 implies x is uh, less than negative 2 union for this uh, range, for this interval. Union x line between what negative a half and uh, 1.5 or 3 on 2 so this is the first part of this uh, question if you have done all of this correctly then you should have all the marks for this first part 
Now, the second part says that the root of the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x minus plus 1 equals 0, are alpha and beta. So the first thing, let us write this in the general form. So the general form is when the equation of x squared is 1, x squared minus sum of roots plus product. So we are going to divide all through by 3 first, and we'll be left with x squared minus 7 on 3x plus 1 on 3, that should be equal to 0. So it should be identical to x squared minus sum of roots, that is minus alpha plus beta x plus product of roots. From here, our sum of roots, that's alpha plus beta, we equate coefficients, right? Hmm? Alpha plus beta will be equal to 7 on 3, and our alpha beta will be equal to 1 on 3. Now, let us find this uh, value given in this equation. Okay? To find the value of this expression, 2 alpha plus 1 on beta plus 2 beta plus 1 on alpha. So from here, if you want to have, find this sum, our new sum will be 2 alpha plus 1 on beta, okay, plus 2 beta plus 1 on alpha. We simplify this. We will have 2, that is 2 alpha plus 2 beta, that's 2 into alpha plus beta. And for this 1 over beta plus 1 over alpha, when we look for the LCM, which is alpha beta, and we simplify, we're going to have alpha plus beta on alpha beta. So we now fit in these values. We will have 2 into alpha plus beta. We already have the value. Alpha plus beta is 7 on 3. So we have 2 into 7 on 3 plus alpha beta 7 on 3. All that on what? On alpha beta. So 7 on 3 divided by 1 on 3. That's just going to give us 7 on 1 here. And the final is 35 on 3. This is where this question ends. All right, but in this particular question, we just decided to give an extension. What if they equally ask you to find maybe the new products, okay? Let's say the roots of the new equation are 2 alpha plus 1 over beta and 2 beta plus 1 over alpha. In that case, what you do here is you just look for the new product as well. And the new product will just be 2 alpha plus 1 over beta into 2 beta plus 1 over alpha. When you simplify this, you will have uh, 2 alpha uh, times 2 beta, which is 4 alpha beta, plus 2 alpha times 1 over alpha, which is 2, 1 over beta times 2 over beta, uh, uh, 2 beta times 1 over beta, which is 2, and 1 over beta times 1 over alpha, which is 1 over alpha beta. Now fit in these values and simplify, your new product will be 25 on 3. And if they ask for the new sum, uh, sorry, for the new equation, you just use the general form for new equation as x squared minus 35 on 3x plus 25 on 3 equals 0. And you multiply all through by 3. You have uh, 3x squared minus 35x plus 25 equals 0. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you watch the second question. We are equally begging on you. Uh, we take a lot of time to produce this content to actually help you out there. If you really want to do something for us in return, make sure you first of all subscribe to this channel. After subscribing, click on the notifications bell, okay? Because when you have many subscribers, we are sure that you are interested in our content and we will produce more. Otherwise, we will not produce anything, okay? The second thing we have to do for us is to share this in all the study groups in which you are. If you cannot share these our videos in the study groups in which you are, it means you are not interested in what we are doing. Because when it gets to many more students, we are going to get their comments on what we are doing, where we should adjust, and so on, and we serve you better. Know that your brothers and sisters are coming behind you and this content is really going to help them. Please, we really need your assistance as we progress with this work. We are equally calling for papers. We are in need of chemistry paper trees for any years. Please, if you have them, contact us on WhatsApp and send directly or leave your comments below and tell us you have the paper. Even if you are doing arts, you can still help us with these papers. We really need the chemistry paper trees because uh, our students are uh, asking about them and they have a lot of issues. We are seriously counting on you and God bless you as you prepare for your exam. Last, if you need a copy in PDF, of the solutions of this paper, maybe from 2015 or 2011 to date, to 2023 or 2024, please contact us on WhatsApp. We are going to tell you how much you need to give us to get it. But it's very, very, it's very, it's, the amount is very small. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and bye bye.